tidy. There's a clue there, is there? Sorry? There's a cleaner. She does the whole block. Oh, right. Look, nothing's happened. Not much, anyway. Of course, some it's happened. We haven't... Uh, listen, my son's in pieces. To me, that says some it's happened. But my Todd's the most caring, vulnerable boy I know. Oh, here we go. So I prayed on some poor, defenceless straight boy, did I? What I'm saying is that... Because that's what we do, isn't it? Go out looking to convert. I've not come here to blame you. What have you come for, then? I don't know. To talk to you, to... to try and make sense of what's going on in his head. Isn't it him you should be talking to, then? But Todd's a smart boy. I mean, I, I thought he'd been swapped at birth because his brains didn't come from me, and his father, well, he wasn't the fizziest drink in the fridge, either. Up here, he's way ahead. But in here, he makes stupid choices. Oh, I. Look, I'm not talking about you. Well, not just you. I mean, Sarah was a mistake from day one. You make him sound like he's got no mind of his own. Well, if he has, all it's done is torture him. How can my sensitive, deep-thinking son get to the point where he almost wished his baby had died? He said that. I need to understand what's going on for him. And somewhere down the line, you're a part of all that. I need to know what to do for the best before he destroys what little there is left of him. Boris, she's coming down with some. We could do with an extra pair of hands. Uh, well, whatever he's got, I'm bound to get it, knowing my luck. And if I get it, I'll not be able to hang on to it. Hang on to what? Well, it... I wish Michael had said something. That's what rankles. He reckons to be a friend. And I've got to hear it second hand from Audrey. Hear what? I've no right to get myself in a tizzy. I say I've no right. They're both free agents. And I'm sure Michael thought long and hard before asking Penny out, knowing that I've got an eye for her. I'll go to the shop. Hiya, Claire, love. Hi, Fred. He knows that. Only that she's been seeing Mike. But I don't think he knows it's been going on for ages. Then you've got to tell him. He's going to find out sooner or later. How do you think he'll feel when he learns you knew all along? Has she escaped? Martin. She's nipped till late. How is she? She's fine. Everything's fine. They're hoping everything's fine. What she needs now is calm and consistency. Todd knows that they're not a teenage romance anymore. They're a family. Why, what's been going on? Hmm? What if? <sighs> the baby was dead. Hey, shh. What are you crying for? <coughs> hmm? Everything's gonna be okay. You don't cry with things that are all right, eh? That's <laughs> daft. <laughs> Here you are. Well, what's happened? Hey, girl. Vera, will you let that lad go to work? Now, look, there were a pair of stay-ups on this chair. And now there's only one. Vera, what would a puppy want with one of your stockings? Stage an arm robbery in a pet shop. Look, they weren't cheap, these, you know. And it won't sound me just one on that stall, that fella, cos there's that early retirement. I'm selling new stockings. Well, has it fell under the table or something? No, it hasn't. That pup's had it, and I want to know what it's done with it. And look at me wallpaper. I've only just had that done. Well, maybe, right, if I get it to sniff this one, then it'll lead us to the other one, eh? Well, it'd better. Where is it? Come on, where is it? Get off it! Come on, where is it? What are you doing? Do you not... I'm at the end of my tether with these dogs. Let me try. Yeah, well, I think my tether will just about stretch the bookies. Come back. Here, come back here, you. Where is it? I feel like I took my eye off Todd. But it was Jason I'd have to watch. But he'd get some girl pregnant and I'd have me work cut out getting him to do right by her. But I look up and it's Todd stuck in a dead end job with a stepkid and a baby on the way. Quite a catch then. Does it matter if he says he's happy? What's happy? You're happy for a bit and then your look changes. You know when I was last happy? When I was saving for his uni money, cos for the first time, oh, God, I don't know how long, I was working for more than just making ends meet. I was working for a future, my son's future. You'll go back to it. 
Monday. <laughs> Not if he's trapped by some girl who's hell-bent on doubling the population by the time she's 18. <laughs> You'd rather he was gay? I don't know what I'd rather. I'd rather he'd had this crisis, you know, two years ago when there wasn't so much going on for him. But if being gay could take all that away and start again, well then, yeah, maybe I would. He's lucky. Having you as his mother. My mum would have bounced around and beaten whatever boy she suspected to a pulp. Can she not cope with it, your mum? Couldn't. She's fine now. So what changed? Her. She found that once she stopped denying it and told people, the world didn't grind to a halt. And actually, most people aren't that bothered. Well, as long as it's your kid and not theirs. <laughs> My little sister found out at Christmas. And all she said was, what, like Will Young? She thought it was cool. I think what changed my mum's attitude, to me, was realising she didn't have a choice of having a straight son or a gay son. What she had was a gay son. What about Todd? What about him? Have I got a gay son? I need to know. He's a bit older than Candice, this fella. Audrey's not too sure about him, you know. Well, like she says, she's made plenty of mistakes in her life. Maybe Candice should wheel him in and we can all vote on him. Aye, I'm only saying... I were under the illusion that I ran a butcher's, not a gossip shop. Your gossip shop's over the way at the Rovers, isn't it? You make plenty of money out of folks who's gossip. <laughs> well, that would have been ash. It's real people's... Lives they blabber about, though, isn't it? Real feelings at stake. All this whispering and nudging. Whatever happened to honesty, decency? It's something you need to know. Go on. It can't be worse than anything else I've heard today. Ah, oh, well, it's along the same lines. It's not Mark and Penny. I know about Michael and Penny. Well, you know how they said they were free agents when they started seeing each other. Well, aren't you forgetting something? What I saw weeks ago, Mike round at Penny's, her saying she were too ill to see you. They were just friends then, friends. Ah, well, I don't think so. They were seeing each other while she was still seeing you. I'm sorry, Dad, it's been going on ages. I'd better get back. I'll be on boil Anson as it is, being gone this long. Uh, no, you're not going anywhere till you've answered my question. It's Todd you should be talking to. Well, I'm not. I'm talking to you. Look, the only reason I said as much as I did is because of my mum. Maybe she'd have had a better time if someone had had a sensible conversation with her early on. Well, that's all very noble, but it doesn't exactly help me, does it? Or Todd. Todd's not my problem. But I fancied him and I reckon he fancied me. But his head's all over the place and I'm not taking it on. It's not my problem. Oh, great. So his taste in boys is as bad as his taste in girls? He wants her. End of story. Then why does he say he's in love with you? He said that. In love. Well, I, I don't know. No, well, no, maybe not that exactly. Still, quite an admission that, though, eh? Not necessarily. I mean, just just forget it. I, I just want to do right by my son. And whatever he feels for you or not, I mean, still doesn't get him out of this mess he's in, does it? Look, I, I shouldn't have come here. I'd I, I better go. Right, take your jacket off. Do you know, I might have known we'd not get this round here, but it's close enough. Let's try it on. Take your scarf off. I like the scarf. Rosie, first appearances are everything. Now, the woman in the shop said that we can take it back if it's not right. Get off! I want to wear it! Rosie, just do as you're told, please. I've been doing this all day. No! What's the matter with you? What is that? Nothing! That's Craig, that, isn't it? Oh, you stupid, stupid girl. What do you think that is going to say about you in the audition, eh? Get upstairs. You're meant to show him you're a singer, not a slapper. Hi, Fred. 
Hope you haven't come to tell me that cowboy builders knocked me factory down. If you can't trust folk, I should keep a closer eye on them, wouldn't you, sir? Gonna come in? Well, as a matter of fact, I was just going out. Bad timing, Michael, cos I'm just coming in. So what was Gail on about? You not being a teenage romance? Are you copying the blame for what happened or something? Been... Been arguing in that, me and Sarah. What about? Just stuff. Well, it's probably her hormones. Nice. No, it's, it's not her. It's me. I've been winding myself up about everything. The, the baby and that. It must be weird, though. Thinking she'll have this baby and then for the next million years you're its dad. I'm freaked to know if it's my boyfriend's grandkid. <laughs> it is weird. Hey, Cal. I've, I've got to get ready for work, so... Oh, no, Steve, I've got to go. He'll be offended if we both rush off as soon as he gets here. Hiya. Hey, I was just telling him he could be granddad by the time he's 30-odd at this rate. Well, he said he wants to bury himself in family life. Yeah, well, not too deep, though, eh? I'd suffocate. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get home. I am supposed to know everything there is to know about complex numbers. And it's bad enough I've wagged mm. off today. <laughs> Bye. Mwah. I've got to go, so... Frightened I might put my arm around you again. Against your will. No? Oh, Sarah. She's fine, yeah? Everything's fine? Well, I'd, I'd love to stop and chat like this, but I'm meant to be getting changed. Going out? If he's phone. Nice for you. You've made your choice. <laughs> I've accepted it. You can stop freezing me out now. Michael, I'm dying of thirst here. Yeah, I've got to get down to the dry cleaners, though, Fred. Pick up a suit. Had a bit of a wine spillage. Best get it clean, eh? Rather than keep covering it up. <laughs> Are you all right? Me? Champion. Look, come on, Fred. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, I... Come on. Come on, mate, let's go. I'll just nip to the little boy's room. Oh, no, you can do that when we get there. Not from the inside. Do we have a visitor? Uh, Penny came to help me with the paperwork because the girls are coming back to the factory, see? Don't you get soggy? In the shower? All this... Paperwork. I spilled coffee down. Let's stop it now, shall we? Even if I was stupid, I'd be hard put to miss what's going on in here. Any road. I've been told, so there it is. Fred. I look, don't want um, to hear. It wasn't how it was. I said I don't want to hear it. Because knowing you two have made a fool of me doesn't feel any better than suspecting it did. No one's been making a fool of you. Fred, look, sit down and uh, I didn't want it I to happen. I just wanted to say one thing. You grief to explain your behaviour. And no offence, but you're a woman. And I don't expect no more. But thee and me, We've sat up many a night bemoaning us lot. A friendship's what we had. And I thought... It counted for something. All the hard work and the effort that's gone into preparing her. And this is how she pays us back. Why, what's she done now? Oh, she couldn't wait till after Friday. Oh, no, I mean, we could have talked about this after the audition. You never have let me see it. Oh, this is about Craig, is it? Your secret's out. What, you knew? No, he didn't. Yes, I did. I saw you spooching with him. No, we weren't. I'm going out. I don't think so. I need to go to Lisa's to do my homework. I'm dead late. Yeah, well, the only place you're going is up to your room. But... But before you go, take a look at that before you say there's no arm in it. Get off me. 
Why didn't you stop her? Because I just thought it'd force them closer together. Closer? He's practically eaten into her neck as it is. The kids. Yeah, but for how much longer? I mean, what sort of a life do you want for Rosie? I'm going to the pub. No, you're not. Oh, sorry, you can't ground me. Can't I? Well, sister promises me she's only keeping you in to be on the safe side. You'll be fine. So it's almost worth it. Worth it? You've had a terrible time. Yeah, I know. And I want this baby more than anything. But thinking we're going to lose him is what's put me and Todd back on track. But then. it shouldn't take something like this. Yeah, well, if it did, it did, right? Although, maybe next time it might be better to sit down and talk, so it might be a better way to sort out your problems, eh? We don't need to sit down and talk. We both know what we want. It's to be together and be a family. And neither of us is going to put that at risk again. Couldn't stay away? I've come to apologise. That's all. I'm fed up here! Tyrone! Help. Good. Came back. <laughs> Never mind, oh, good. Tyrone, over here. I can't. I'm going meeting Jack in the Rovers. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to be dealing with these mutts. Well, come on, then. They're not but trouble. Oh, Monica's not. That little one's thrown up all over. I'm up to air with it. Take it you didn't find your stocking, then. Oh, I found that all right. Well, then. That's what it threw up. He did it? Well, it must have done. Well, it was. Look, it's not funny, Tyrone. I mean it. That house is overcrowded. Either he goes, she goes. Or it'll be you. Here. Are you meant to be working? I know I've got a lot on. Let's have this apology then, if that's what you came for. I'm sorry for the way I was with you yesterday and before. I've just been really worried about Sarah and um, it got too much. It wasn't too much till I put my arm around you and you ran away. <laughs> I didn't run away. Were you scared that I was coming on to you? No. Scared that you wanted me to? I just needed a bit of space. I know what I wanted, it's Sarah and the baby. It's what I've always wanted, really. And for us to be friends, it just got a bit out of hand, that's all. That's what you've always felt. That we had a friendship that got a bit out of hand? Yeah. So, if I got the impression you felt more than that, I was imagining it. Yeah, and, and look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I only ever wanted you as a friend. Funny that, because it's not what your mum said. Me mum. Where have you been? I've kept you some tea. No, I'm not hungry. Well, where did you go? What's it to you? Oh, well, don't be like that, Dad. I had to tell you. Eventually. Come and eat something. I don't want to get in road of your whispering. Well, we're only trying to protect you. From what? Making a fool of myself. You did a poor job of it. It's them's made fools of themselves, running round playing games like that. You were one person I thought would be on my side. Hey, you can't blame Ashley. What are you that told him to keep his dirty secret? Claire tried to tell you before. She told me I had to say so much. You had to be told, did you? Because common sense, human decency, loyalty... None of them made you... Work it out for yourself. I'm going for a lie down. You see, Betty, that's the difference between Tyrone and our Vera. I mean, when she sees this animal, she sees a noisy, smelly, mess making machine, don't she? I'd be the same. No, you wouldn't. No, no, you were house trained, you see. Oh, yeah, I mean. Cost me a fortune, that flaming puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at least you know you didn't kill Monica. I'm tempted now. Hey. Don't even joke about it. Who's joking? Hi. How is she? Well, I'll be happier when she's home. She's under observation, which is the best place for her, for now. And is Todd all right? I mean, did he make it to his shift? Yeah, I've left there. Uh, Carl keeping an eye on him. Carl? Yeah, he's a nurse there. So Todd's under observation and all. Will you sit down? She's no right to come here. What's she thinking of? You. 
Mostly. I don't... How did she know you were? Calm down. What did she say exactly? That you were in love with me. I never said that. Didn't you? A flaming killer! She's not keen on Sarah. She blames Sarah for everything. And she's wrong. She stopped you taking your exams. No, I did. I walked. My choice. Why? You could have still been with Sarah if you'd sat your exams. It's not like you were no. doing an A-level in being a puff. No, passing those exams would have taken me away from her. Maybe you'd have failed. I'd pass exams. That's what I'd do. And then I get shunted on to the next lot and I pass them as well. Nobody lets you stop and think what you want. You end up only doing what other people think you should. Like being straight, then? No, I'm not talking about... You're talking about going your own way, whatever people think of you. Not letting them run your life. Yeah. So you jump from bright schoolboy to respectable family? Man, you've just swapped one way of being accepted for another. I love Sarah. Keep saying it. Maybe it'll shut out that other voice. Do you know what? I'm going. I'm meant to be at work. You told your mum you were in love with me. No, I... It's not true. No. So you feel nothing for me? See, I think you want me. I need to go. Admit it. I don't... Say it then, that you don't want me. I... Don't want you. Look at me and say it. Because I want you. <sighs>